The next thing is we are going to look at citation generator, which is very, very easy and cool feature. If you want to have your citations listed in a folder, you can create a folder from here. Or you can create a list directly from here or adding a folder that you want to add all your lists in. Okay, You can have folders under the list or you can have folders under a given folder. Okay, So you can create a list and you can create a folder. For example, I can say I can name this uh, folder. You can just come to these three dots. I rename it and maybe flood mitigation ref. Okay, and say flood mitigation ref, and you can say um, you can name this reference also. You can rename it. Okay, you can call it ref one. You can call it ref one, and you have other options also to export the list, to move list to a given folder, or to delete a list also from here. So the next thing is, let's say we want to generate the link, the reference, the citation from a web page. Okay, you can generate from a web page or from an article, journal article, or from a book. We have shown how to use it in the other tutorial, but here we are going to be more detailed because we're going to see how it is being done. Okay, on a web page, all you need to copy and paste is the URL of that particular web page that you want to cite. So for example, if you want to cite this document like we've shown earlier, you can just copy this blog post. You can just copy it, copy the link and come up home over here and just paste it and say cite and it's going to go through the internet and find it. So you can see this is the web page. It's already quickly identified that it's a web page and it's on this title, presentation skills, nine great tips. Okay, it's from this website. Okay, so you can see it over here, presentation skills, nine great tips, and it's from that website that it has said correctly. So everything is confirmed, it's correct. So you can just click on this and it's going to add the citation for you. You can see it has just been added directly. Okay, and you can see it is added to the list. Okay, so if it is a journal article, for example, uh, like the journal articles you've worked with, what you are interested, what, what we are interested in as the input is the article title or the DOI of the DOI number. If you have the title, fine. If you don't have, you can copy the DOI number and paste it. Okay, so for example, for this article, you can come over here, you can copy the title directly on its own. You can copy the title and just paste it and say cite. And it's going to list from all the sources okay available with this kind of topic you'll be able to know exactly which one you are talking about by coming back to the article take a look at this it by it's by azhar abbas and the date is accepted in 2015 and published in 2015 so you can see it's by azhar and it's 2015 you can come back and see this is 2015 so this is the one we are talking about so this one will select and it's going to add it directly Another thing you should pay attention to is the style of the citation. You can click over here in case if your school has a different citation, you can check around from the list of citation styles that you have. For example, in my own school, we use the American Psychological Association, which is the APA format. Okay, you can use the APA 6th edition format. This is one we use. So you can select for your school if you use any kind of different formats, you can select and it's going to be saving the reference in those formats. You can see everything is being saved over here. And if it is a book, in cases when it is a book, you can just select a book. And all you need to copy and paste is the book ISBN or the book EAN number. If you have this or you have the book title, you can just paste and it's going to cite it for you. So assuming I have this book, we can say about the book and you can see it brought us here. So you can see the ISBN number and you can see the DOI. And you can see published date. So let's say we use this ISBN number because it's one of the things we are looking for. You can come back here and just select and paste the ISBN number and say cite. Unfortunately, you could not find this book. Okay, so you can cite directly. And if you cannot find the details about the book, you can go ahead and cite manually. And just click on cite manually and you can input the title, the contributors, okay? And you can put in their names, their title, their initials, first name, last name. You can add another contributor. You can add the edition of the book. You can have the volume number and all that. You can add everything, the DOI, the URL, the ISBN, the ISN number. You can add everything and you can see save citation and everything is going to be saved and it's going to be added to your citation. Okay. So this is basically how to add citations from journal, uh, article, book, chapters, web pages. And other types also, you can see more types from here. 
is it a web page a book a video or an online news article or an image or report You'll be able to see any of them and you can have the option or what is needed of you to put okay you can see the details from here and once you say save citation it's going to save it directly for you so this is how to add an image a report if it's a report this is what you need and if it is an image this is what you need you need this much information and if it is um, a video you can see if it's a video you can see you need more, this much information you just paste in and say save, save citation and it's going to save the citation for you directly you can check out the you can export you can copy all to your document you can export or you can cite manually also from here depending on what kind of document you are working on so ladies and gentlemen this does it for this tutorial on how to utilize or how to generate references or citations using killboard okay i hope you enjoyed this video uh, thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one